I've been standing on that business and my orders on go. The way that I was raised, I ain't never gon' for. I wake up early to eat good, I need my eggs and toast. Tactical Trail, man. I'm back with another video, man. Before we get started to this video, man, make sure y'all go ahead and smack that like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, man. You feel what I'm saying, man? We on the road to 1K, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm racing to that thousand subscribers, man. <clears throat> make sure you go over there to my Instagram. As y'all see, it's gonna be somewhere down here, you know what I'm saying? My Instagram on every video down there. Like I said, TikTok be tripping, so I ain't that active over there. But anyways, man, we got a different type of video today, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to break down a how-to for y'all. You know what I'm saying? As y'all know, I put my Glock Performance trigger in my Glock 19. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just show y'all how to uh, break down the Glock, put a Performance trigger in there. You know what I'm saying? It's an easy process. And that's one thing I like about Glock. It ain't, it ain't many parts. And go on there and do what you got to do. Go get, get up out of it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... Yeah, man, I'm gonna break that down, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna uh, set the camera up so y'all can get a clear view of everything. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna jump right up in this thing, man. All right, man, so first thing first, what you wanna do is, of course, get your Glock. You know what I'm saying? Whether, whatever Glock you got, go ahead and grab that. Make sure you're clear. Like I said, this is my, I carry this sometimes, so this do have bullets in it. You know? Make sure you're clear which we are, you can see nothing in the mag, I mean, where the mag is out, nothing in the chamber, and what you want to do is, you know, make sure you're clear, you know what I'm saying, you want to break it down, pull the slide back just a little bit, and these two levels right here, uh, that one right there, and this one right here, pull those down, push your slide forward, and bang, Take it right on off. Let me change the camera angle so y'all can see it a little better. All right, yeah, so we got a better view now. So like I was saying, we are empty. Nothing in the chamber, no mag in. So these two levels right here are your breakdown levels. You want to pull your slide back just a little bit. Pull those down. Push this forward. Pull your trigger, bang, and she off. Y'all can see I keep my gun a little greased up. You dig what I'm saying? But okay, so now we have the regular Glock trigger in there. And you want to get a little punch or something. Something small enough to push this pin out right here. And that's the main pin that's holding all of this thing together. <clears throat> and a punch to pull that out too, because that's holding the um the trigger housing thing in there. So you want to punch this out. Might have to put a little muscle into it. I'm gonna punch it from the other way. It usually come out easier from this side. Bam. Punch that out. Make sure you keep up with it though. If you lose that, you don't have, you don't have no gun. Okay, so once you punch that out, <clears throat> you want to get this block piece right here and pull that on out. Like I said, Glock ain't really made of nothing. Too many parts. You might have to pry it out because sometimes it, yeah, pry it out. Make sure you don't lose that. And I like to keep it facing the direction that I took it out. So when it's time to put it back in, I can just grab it, put it back in. Okay, so next you want to take your slide locks out. And those right there just simply just come out. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Put those over there to the side because you're not going to need them until you put them back in. Then you want to take this pin out right here, like when you're changing your um, your back strap, you know, you want to switch to a beaver tail or whatever, you want to pull this pin out. So, you want to punch that out, boom, keep up with that, put that to the side, and now your trigger ready to come out. So what I like to do is just push up on the trigger a little bit just to make sure it's ready to come out. And this whole thing right here comes out, so I try to pry up on this just a little bit. Ugh. Hold on. Push my trigger down some. And as you can see, it just comes right on out. 
And that is my stock block trigger. You know. <clears throat> but out with this and in with the new. This is the Glock Performance Trigger. So, how you put this in? Well, before I put mine in, I like to put a little grease on there. So, got some duck sauce right here. And same gun shop that I went to that y'all seen me training at, he make his own uh, lubrication for guns. And man, when I tell you this stuff right here, bad, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, it's not too thick and it's not too, you know what I'm saying? Not too loose. It's just right, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes, I mean, when I change my trigger, I like to get a something, some lubricant, you know what I'm saying? Just to put in, I put on there, keep it all moist, you know what I'm saying? Just keep it from a lot of friction on it. I try to just do like everything that touches. Sometimes I just go in there and just lube everything up. Man, this stuff right here, the truth, man. I, I put this stuff on my guns, and it, it don't, it takes, uh, well, all my guns still haven't burnt off yet. This stuff right here is way better than the factory stuff that they give you. Stuff keep your guns, man. I done seen a difference in my gun. When I first got my 10 mil, that thing was so gritty, man. But I threw some of this on there, man. That thing is a beast now. Alright, once you done lubed all that up, you want to come back over here, get your lower, and you just want to drop that thing on in there. It should go ahead and go. Sometimes you might have to play with the trick a little bit. Uh, uh, should go ahead and snap in. There she go. know if y'all seen that or not but we'll do it again for y'all just see that right there just put that in there Line it up sometimes. There you go. Boom. And I like to go back over it after I put it in. Get some whatever you oil your guns down with. Just get some of that. Go up in there. It sort of runs smooth, you know. I'll keep your guns everywhere that really touches. Put some on there. Everywhere that really touches, throw some on there. Man, this grease is bad, dog. And I tell you, this thing, how your gun's running so smooth, man. Smooth like butter. You know, we gonna get up in there. Put the way you think it need to be. Where it need to be lubed at. Yeah. But y'all, tell y'all the truth, I only cleaned my Glock one time since I had it. And this thing ain't that dirty, man. This thing is not that dirty. I probably cleaned it probably about twice. Maybe I'm, I'm over exaggerating. Yeah, man, my gun is not that dirty. I done seen way worse. But anyways, man, after you get that uh that trigger in there, what you want to do is make sure it's all the way down for one. Make sure it's locked in. But you want to get your pin that goes back here. Go ahead, throw that thing back up in there. Sometimes you might need a little assistance with your punch. Bam. Make sure that's in there snug. Then you want to come back with your, with your slide locks, your slide release, whatever you want to call them. Just place that back in there, all nice and smooth. Make sure that's locked in. Come get this block piece that you seen me take out. And that should go right on down. Make sure that's down good. Get this, and sometimes I like to put a little, like the excess grease that's on my hand, just wipe that on there, just sort of slide in pretty easy. But look down your hose, you can see, it's kinda, it's kinda straight, 
But we're going to see, because this pen always want to give you a hard time. Like I said, you can try with your punch. Okay, we halfway through it. Oh, that don't work. Go on your other side, put your punch in there. And kind of like free it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Free it up. Put your other hand. Push your punch through. You put your, uh, get your pen through. And this right here just opening up space for it. Get it to the right size that it need to be. Now my hand's slippery. Oh, let me see. Or you can put it on the table. Sometimes it'll go through. Once you line it up right, hold on, let me look at myself. All right. Let's see this pin. There we go. Push that back through. There we go. Make sure that's good on both sides. No, everything back in place how it's supposed to be. You want to get your slide. Slide that on there just like this. Lock that back. Make sure everything working properly. Give your trigger a squeeze. Do a reset. Give it another squeeze. I like to do this a couple times just to make sure everything all right. Boom, and we back in business, man. We are back in business. But yeah, YouTube, that's gonna conclude this video, man. Hands all messy, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna conclude this video, dog. Y'all like videos like this, man. Make sure y'all go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and comment down below whether y'all like videos like this or not. <clears throat> Cause I keep coming with them, you know what I'm saying? I show you how you clean your guns, put parts in them, everything, man. But yeah, man, let me know how y'all like this video down below or go over to my Instagram. Let me know what you want. Let me know what you like to see. And like I said, y'all need to go check out Tams, man. Get y'all some of that duck sauce. That's a bad, that's a bad lube, man. Bad lube, but it's only for your guns now. Don't go plenty of other places where it don't belong. Only for your guns. But anyways, man, make sure y'all go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Subscribe, man. I'm on the road to 1K, though. Subscribe for me. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, man. Make sure you tell your mama, tell your sister, tell a friend, tell a friend you did what I'm saying. And always remember, dog. That shit tactical.